one of the things that was interesting about this, and I remember you and I discussed this, you know, the first time we got on like FaceTime to talk about the movie was you've known Nick for a while. You guys have worked together. You have a sort of, you know, longstanding friendship and a kind of backdrop of your own relationship to him. Talk about how an off-screen relationship, friendship, impacts your ability to kind of foster intimacy on, uh, you know, on a movie like this and, and sort of how that affected you going into it. Well, there's something to be said about the type of friend that I am because I'm very much so lovey-dovey, touchy-feely, and my love language is time spent in affirmations. And I've spent a lot of time with with Nick Robinson, one of my favorite humans. And uh, I love gassing him up. He is one of the kindest, funniest people I know. And so bringing that type of chemistry into this movie in particular, I think that you can kind of tell that there's this little, like the three of us are are kind of tit for tat and we're messing around and we're making faces behind each other's backs. Oh, you should call my friend over at Gawker. You have a friend at Gawker? Yeah, I met him at South by last year. Don't ask. A lot of questions there, but... Okay, well, he's not just gonna pick up an anonymous call at like, what, 10? clock at uh, night that's exactly what he's gonna do he's a reporter and i think that there is a level of reality when it comes to our friendship in the movie because we're such good friends now when it comes to like all the kissy scenes i'm like ah, it's nick you know but at the same time it was easier to kiss my friends than it was necessarily to have to develop an entire rapport and relationship from scratch